welcome back to Lima Bean Living. In today's video, since the Christmas season has finally come to an end, we are taking down my Christmas decorations starting in the kitchen. Above our sink, I had these little like mini ornaments strung across. I made them in one of my first like DIY Christmas videos and it was years ago. And I don't even know if I actually showed me making them in the process, I just showed the results. So anyways, I removed that and then we're also taking down some of these Christmas sticky clingy things. I never know what to call them, but I put them on the window and usually Aubrey helps me put them up, which I think we did in a previous video. But it is time for them to come down. I am ready for just my house to feel like reset because in my next video we will be setting up for mine and Jack's and my dad's and my sister-in-law's birthday party. So I'm really excited, but I store all these clingy things in one of these little files and just kind of keep them in order of the months so that the next time in February, we'll be able to take out those and put them up on the window. But we're just kind of finishing off, clearing off this kitchen sink area, and then we will be moving on to taking down some other kitchen decorations. So I want to say last year I made these little like snowflakes out of brown paper bags and I really like how you can close them up when you're done and not have to store them like as their full snowflake self. You can fold them back up and it is you know a space saver but it definitely provides a nice large decoration. If we end up getting like lights over our island I will probably hang these up like on a wall or something. We're also taking down the wreath that my aunt made using food fabric and resetting my little fake flowers in this little pot. And we're just gonna be replacing them with kind of my standard go-to little fake bouquet. So Juan ended up buying this little thing when we were out in Texas. It is a little confusing because it says days until Christmas, so you have to work backwards. And then this Berry Merry Christmas was one that I grew up using and I was able to inherit this. It's missing the little bear, so I need to like make one. But each day, like the 1st of December, you would move the bear to a specific location. And he moves like all around this quilted thing and finally ends up like in the living room at Christmas and it was just such a fun thing to do growing up and I'm really happy that I was able to inherit it. I wish we had found the little bear that goes with it, but I will be making one for the future. Then we're finally taking down the things that I hung on the doors and removing this decorative little garland from the bathroom mirror. Moving on, we are taking down our Christmas tree. There ended up being some extra ornaments added on throughout the season, which is fine. It doesn't have to, you know, be totally fitting to my aesthetic. It's more for the kids anyways. So when Aubrey added on something, it was totally okay with me. But then I found the box somewhere in our garage and we're just packing this up. It took me a while to figure out exactly how like I needed to make it go, but it ended up fitting, which is all good. And I was able to store that away and then we're just gonna be cleaning up the space and moving on to cleaning my whiteboard as well. Oh, 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 oh. I let 
So now I'm just gathering all of the containers that I used for storing Christmas items. The stuff that wasn't used kind of like jumped from box to box. So here I'm just kind of trying to organize the boxes a little bit better, either by room or by like type of decoration. I have a lot of these Dollar Tree little mailboxes and I like to either give treats away in the containers or I use them for another purpose. So I tried to just put all of those in one as well as like our family pajamas and Christmas sweaters things that we won't be using throughout the year and then like I said I have like a box more for like the kitchen decorations and other you know items Left a star, glowing in your eyes when I'm not away. you left a scar I fall into your While I was doing this, I did remove our decorations that were in our master bathroom and bedroom. So I didn't like film me doing that. I just ran quickly to go get them because I forgot about those as well as some of the things that were outside. So I did a little reset. I put our standard decorations outside and uh, brought all of the Christmas decorations that were outside inside and boxed them up. So one thing that I've been meaning to do for like the longest time now, ever since we kind of organized our master closet, was to label the boxes that stored items for decorations. And it's been like on my to-do list, but I always kind of feel like too overwhelmed to do all of the boxes all at once. So I just figured, you know what, these boxes are out. I can go ahead and cut out with my Cricut the labels. I'm using the font Minimalistic and you can get it from defont.com and the tree was like a different Christmas font off of defont.com as well. So I'm just like, you know, kind of coming up with what I like for this Christmas label and labeling just the Christmas boxes in this video. And my hope is that as I take down another box some other time, like probably for Valentine's Day, I will label the Valentine's Day box when I pack everything up and just slowly get through all of the boxes. This made it a little less stressful for me. I felt like it was something that I could get done and not feel too overwhelmed. So I'm really happy with like how it ended up looking and you guys will see the final result in my closet. I just think it looks really neat and I really like the font as well.
So I know I am undecorating pretty late compared to a lot of people. Let me know down below in the comments when you undecorate from Christmas. I do like to wait until the end of the Christmas season rather than like the day after Christmas because Christmas technically isn't over yet and I, you know, I don't try to set up too soon either. I don't like set up the 1st of October or anything like that. So our little window is a little different, but let me know down below in the comments when you guys set up for Christmas and when you put away your Christmas decorations as well. I really hope that you guys like this video. I recognize that it may not be like motivation to clean up your Christmas stuff. However, if you still have yours up, now would be a good time to clean up since the Christmas season is over. But if anything, I just hope it serves as some cleaning motivation or organizing motivation. If you guys are new here, I would love for you to stick around and subscribe and check out all of my motherhood content and get ready for a party prep video. I'm super excited to share with you guys everything that I did for my son's first birthday party. Thanks again for watching and I will catch you guys in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.